hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential problem from here let's take what's on this side to this side then here we have x minus 2 raised to power 4 minus x raised to power 4 now equals to 0 from here then also we can rewrite this and this becomes x minus 2 square then also square again as 2 times 2 here will be 4 then minus also here we can write it as x square then square again then equals to 0 from here then when we apply the difference of two squares which is a square minus b square this can be written as a plus b into bracket then open bracket a minus b that is here what we have yes a here is same thing as x minus 2 square then b here same thing as x square then what we have now becomes x minus 2 square plus x square then close bracket then into bracket also we have x minus 2 square then minus x square close bracket which is now equals to 0 from here and since these two terms multiply and be equals to 0 so either of it could be 0 so we have the first bracket which is x minus 2 square plus x square equals to 0 or we have the second case we have x minus 2 square then minus x square equals to 0 from here and from what we have here when we saw we can expand this and this becomes x square minus 4x then plus 4 plus x square equals to zero from here ah yeah x square plus x square give us two x square then minus four x plus four equals to zero from here and also here we can divide through by you know two that is here two we go in each of these then here this cancel out we have x square then minus 2 go here, 1, 2 go here, 2, that's 2x, then plus 2, then equals to still 0 here. Then when we solve this equation, this is a quadratic equation where a is equals to 1, b equals to minus 2, then c equals to 2. So from the formula, that is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a this x will now become minus minus 2 then plus or minus square root of minus 2 square then minus 4 times 1 times 2 which is divided by 2 and on solving this from here we have x equals to is become plus that's 2 plus or minus square root of here we have minus 2 squared as 4 then minus 8 here which is divided by 2 here and also when we solve this further from here what we have then is now same thing as x equals to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8 that's minus 4 then over 2 that is here we can as well write root minus 4 as root 4 and root minus 1 which implies we have x now equals to 2 plus or minus 2i because root 4 is 2 and root minus 1 is minus is i so over 2 and here x will then be equals to 2 into bracket 1 plus or minus i 
over 2. So which implies that we have x equals to 2 cancel each other here. We have 1 plus i. That's plus or minus i. So we have two solutions here which are complex solutions. Then we can keep that in one side. Then from the second case here, also applying the difference of two squares, which we have here. Then here x minus 2 serving as a, then x serving as b. Then here we have into bracket x minus 2 plus x. Then also into bracket x minus 2 minus x now equals to 0 from here. Now this here x plus x that's 2x that's 2x minus 2 then here x minus x cancel out then here we have minus 2 then equals to 0 from here which implies the two cases we have here we have 2x minus 2 equals to 0 or minus 2 equals to 0 so this we have no solution from here then on this side we take minus 2 here then we have 2x equals to 2 then here divide both sides by 2 this cancel each other we have x now equals to 1 then we have x equals to 1 as the other solution so altogether we have x1 that is the first solution equals to 1 which is a real solution x2 we have 1 plus i a complex solution then x3 we have 1 minus i also a complex solutions now together here we have three solutions into this given air problem and from here when we put x equals to 1 into the given problem so when x is equals to 1 from here what we have then we give us 1 minus 2 all is to power 4 then is it equals to 1 raised to power 4 then here minus 1 raised to power 4 is it equals to 1 raised to power 4 then minus 1 raised to power 4 because of this minus when it is raised to power even number, that will be plus. So we still have 1 raised to power 4, which is equal to 1 raised to power 4. So this is 1, which is equal to 1. Both sides are equal, and hence, we conclude that x equals to 1 satisfied. So equally, the other complex solutions to satisfy the problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.